Other news, hundreds of people in San Jose remain evacuated today following a gas leak we first told you about yesterday afternoon. Cronon's Charles Clifford joins us from San Jose with the latest on when they may be able to return home. Charles? Hi there, yeah, so right now I'm standing just outside of the, uh, the, the zone that they've closed down here. This is at Race and San Carlos. You can see the command center and kind of the shut down street area behind me here. The actual gas leak is a couple of blocks behind me down Race at Park and it is probably going to be closed down for the rest of the day. Let's go and take a look at some video here. This gas leak started yesterday afternoon. We now know that it involves uh, multiple PG&E gas lines, at least a 12-inch line and possibly also an 8-inch line. Uh, we don't know exactly how this started, but we do know, uh, according to the fire department, that there was a third-party contractor working in the area about around the time that the gas leak started. So right now what's happening is that PG&E is going in there attempting to, uh, you know, repair the damage. There is still gas flowing, and that is the reason that the fire department, the police department, had evacuated a 10-block area. There are approximately 325 homes uh, that have been evacuated. Those residents are being offered uh, to be put up by the Red Cross, or they can go to an evacuation center at the Bascom Community Center. Now, originally, there was hopes that this might be resolved by about noon today, but we learned just a short time ago from the fire department that they don't expect this uh, to be wrapped up until probably later this evening. Yeah, so, so right now, uh, PG&E is still working on one of the gas lines. The one that they're working on right now is a 12-inch gas main. So there's a number of steps that they're going to have to go through to actually secure that pipe, make sure that everything is safe and that we'll be ready for repopulation. So right now, we're looking at the evacuated uh, people probably, hopefully, being able to re-enter their homes sometime early this evening. Um, it is a pretty complicated process that PG&E is going through right now, and obviously our primary concern is to make sure that everything is secure and safe before people actually come back into the area. All right, back live now. A couple other notes. If you live in that area, you're looking to get back in, uh, they're saying you should go to the command center here at San Carlos and race. They can help you out if you need to go in and get some medicine out of your house or you might have a pet that's still inside uh, the, the area that has been shut down. Um, a couple other things that uh, uh, they're hoping the winds pick up this afternoon a little bit, which will dissipate that gas that has leaked out is sort of pooled on the ground right now, and they're hoping that the winds will pick up and blow that out. So we're going to be here for the rest of the afternoon, kind of keeping an eye on this and further updates here on Cron On. But for now, in San Jose, Charles Clifford, Cron 4 News. Charles, thank you for that. We'll check in with you in a little bit.